Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at Windows Mobile 6.5 build 2381. It's been a while since we've taken a look at these newer builds of Windows Mobile, and in this particular release, we see a lot of small elemental changes to the Windows Mobile interface, such as the scroll bars are a little bit different, the checkboxes have been revamped, and a lot of other small things that we're gonna take a look at now. So let's start and turn on the device, and let's go into File Explorer so we can take a look at these new scroll bars that I mentioned. So the newer scroll bars are just kind of modified so that they look a little bit smoother. Um, they are the same thickness as the uh, as previous builds of Windows Mobile 6.5, but they look a little bit different. So if we compare it to, say, um, Windows Mobile 6.5, the version that is now out on the devices on the carriers, you can kind of get a better feel for how the scroll bars are now different. Something else that has changed is the checkboxes. So if we go into a screen where we need to uh, place checks, as, checks in boxes, such as uh, this here, we can see that the checkboxes have a blue or green check mark in the box compared to Windows Mobile 6.5 that's out there now. Uh, it's a much uglier version of this. And this is present throughout the entire operating system. So we can go to other screens that have checkboxes. We can go into system and go to, say, screen. And there's the checkbox for enable clear type. We can do the same over here. And you see the difference, a much cleaner looking checkbox. It's almost uh, Android-esque, the newer version of Android that's coming out. Something else that's different that you probably just saw is that all of the buttons are different now. They are much nicer and cleaner looking than Windows Mobile 6.5 here, where it's just a squarish button. Now it has some depth and some texture to it. And when we go into the contacts application, you're going to see that even more. So let's go into the contacts application. We saw a few builds ago that the contacts application had been revamped, and now we have further revisions to that application. Okay, so when we make a new contact, we get this new kind of larger, uh, more finger-friendly view of the contacts. Before in Windows Mobile 6.5, if you're adding a new contact, you have to go through a very long and ugly list of things to add, but this makes it a lot easier to uh, to add a contact, and there are some new changes. So if we click Add Mobile Telephone Number, we get this nice little pop-up screen with these new revamped buttons that we saw a minute ago. A much nicer look than how it's been before in previous versions of Windows Mobile. The same thing applies to Add Email, nice little screen. We can scroll to the right, scroll to the left to get more info. We can add more addresses, add more info. So it's really consolidated all of the, uh, the fields that were there before. Now, if we're editing a contact, we can go into this new category picker, which is just revamped a little bit. If we tap on that, uh, it says categories. We can tap on categories and see all of the various categories that exist. You can get these nice check, check marks to show up when you tap on one of the categories. And so just a small, another small change, which helps to make the interface a little bit more clean. And finally, the last change that we're going to show in build 2381 is the new text message screen. And we posted on Pocket Now that this was changed a little bit in a previous build. Just want to show it on video here. So now we get kind of a more uh, specific timestamp along with each SMS. Really not that big of a change. Hopefully this will continue to evolve in future builds of Windows Mobile 6. Because the SMS application is not that good looking as it is. And just by adding some timestamps really doesn't make it any nicer. The only other thing that may be different in this build of Windows Mobile 6.5 is this button up here. So if we go to another day other than today, and uh, the device here has, has the wrong date, it thinks it's the 25th. If we're on the 24th and we want to get back to today, we tap on this little icon up here and we're jumped right back to the day that your device thinks it is. So that's kind of helpful, and that may have been present in previous builds of Windows Mobile 6.5. We just didn't notice. So that's all for Windows Mobile 6.5 build 2381. We'll keep an eye on these builds to see what is new and what comes next. That's it for now.